Okay, tell me your story. <laughs> My name is Raphael. I am 14. I work in the trash. Books for young adults can deal with challenging social issues. Did themes like police brutality and justice make you conscious of how you'd adapt this for a younger audience on screen? Well, there's a complicated question. The, the book is about poverty and corruption, but it's also about hope and justice and all sorts of other themes. And this was an adventure film. Um, and so we started working with different young people and really got them to tell us the story. Once we told them the basics, they yeah. told us the story as it made sense to them. But the kids in the film, the real kids in the film, have very real and direct experience of um, in Brazil of police brutality. Yeah. A lot of them, all three of them actually, have lost um, close personal family friends or mm. even family members. So they understood the world of the, of the story very easily. Um, and what we tried to capture was their hope and their dreams and their sense of justice and morality. Um, and faith, actually. The young cast is an experience as actors, but the most fantastic I've seen in ages. So what kind of training or rehearsals help them? Well, you know, yeah, the kids uh, had never acted before. Um, and I don't think they've ever even to have been to a cinema before. So they had no real concept of what making a movie could possibly be. <laughs> the process really was one of uh, getting them secure, really, but mostly secure in the story. Um, and making sure that they not only understood the story that we were trying to tell, but make, adapting it to what, what made sense to them. Um, and then improvising it, you know, the, the story is made up sort of on the day. Um, all the dialogue, they didn't learn anything. It was just, they made it up as they went along. Oh. Which had its own particular challenges, and obviously particular challenges for me, because they're speaking Portuguese and yeah. I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> Discovering Brazil as a location really helped shape your production. What influence ended up making the biggest difference? I mean, I don't know how much you know about Brazil, but there is a process there called pacification. Oh. And that process is where a lot of the areas, a lot of the communities, uh, favelas, uh, were run and um, managed uh, by militias and drug barons and the police and the army didn't go in. But they've been trying to go in and take over these areas to try to bring law and order, which has been have mixed results, really. Um, so sometimes we were in pacified areas and sometimes we were in unpacified areas. Okay. And sometimes in the unpacified areas it did get a little bit scary when real bullets were flying over your head. But So sometimes we had yeah. to stop because of that. Um, of course, the, for the... <laughs> For the kids in the film, it was just fine as they're used to it. Oh, um, it's, it can be a little bit alarming, though, when yeah. tracer bullets are going over your head. Oh, I can understand. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you much. for coming in. Through all of that, why did they stick with it? Because it was right. <laughs> <laughs>